My name is Ruby and my age is eight. How do, what's the science of how people learn to read? Hi, I'm Mark Seidenberg. I'm the Vilas Professor in the Department of Psychology at the University of Wisconsin-Madison and I've studied reading for a long time. The science of how children learn to read. Well, that's something that's been studied in laboratories all around the world, in many languages, and many different writing systems. And so quite a lot is known. And for children who are beginning to read, there are three main components. One of them is something they already know, and that's how to use a spoken language. So a beginning reader already knows how to talk and comprehend a language like English, and that's going to be helpful to them when they start reading. The second thing they have to learn is about print. How do the symbols on the page work? And in all the writing systems of the world, they work basically the same way. There are ways to represent speech. So a child learning to read English has to learn how the letters and combinations of letters correspond to the spoken language they already know. The third component is knowledge, knowledge of the world. In order to comprehend what you're reading, you need to understand something about the topic. So what children know about different topics, different subjects, greatly affects how hard it is for them to read or how easy it is. And some of that knowledge you gain through direct experience. For example, you might go to the zoo and learn about animals. And some of that knowledge you really just learn by reading. For example, about sneetches or about wild things or about other things you can't actually see in person. So the more you read, the easier it becomes to read. And so that's why once the child gets started, just the amount and variety of how much they read really matters a lot. I wrote a book about the science of reading and tried to connect it to how children learn to read in school. And what I found was that there was a pretty big disconnection. From the science, we know a lot of things about how reading works and how children learn and about the kind of obstacles they encounter and where teachers and classroom activities can really make a difference. But then we look at what happens in classrooms in America and other English-speaking countries, and we see that a lot of this knowledge that we've gained isn't really being used. And that makes it harder for a lot of kids to learn to read. And even when they do learn to read, it's been difficult, and so they may not like reading. And so the book makes the point that if we could get a closer connection between the science and educational practices, more kids would succeed at reading and more kids would like to read.